Hi judges, welcome to another segment of One Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. And for today's video lesson, we will write an equation of the circle in standard form given a center located at HK. So the center is not anymore located at the origin. And we are also given a radius or a diameter. So before we try to solve for the equation of the circle, let us first write the standard equation of the circle with center located at HK. So when we say center located at HK, the standard form of the circle becomes x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared where h and k are the coordinates of the center okay so again h k is the coordinate of the center so h is the x coordinate and k is the y coordinate so we could see here that this is minus this is also minus remember that if we are substituting the given center into the equation we will just be getting the opposite sign if the given center is um, negative 1 negative 2 therefore if we will be writing that into the formula it becomes x plus 1 quantity squared plus y plus 2 quantity squared is equal to r squared okay so let's start answering number one so for number one we are given the center and the center is located at negative 4 negative 5 and the radius is equal to 2 units. So let us now write the standard equation, which is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared, where h, k is negative 4, negative 5. So let us now try to substitute that into the equation. Therefore, it becomes x minus. Our h is negative 4, so that becomes x minus negative 4 squared plus y minus what is our k negative 5 so that is negative 5 quantity squared is equal to what is our r yes that is 2 make that 2 squared simplifying we have x minus minus it becomes plus y minus minus it also becomes plus okay Therefore, we'll now be having x plus 4 quantity squared plus y plus 5 quantity squared is equal to 4. And that is the standard equation of the circle with center located at negative 4, negative 5, and with radius equal to 2 units. So, one technique here is that, again, if we will be writing this into the standard form and we are given the center and the radius again just get the opposite sign of the center if this is negative it becomes plus four if this is negative five that becomes plus five so i hope that is clear okay so we're now ready to answer the second problem for the second problem we have the center located at seven six and with radius equal to four units Again, if we will just be merely looking at the problem, we will be able to tell the correct answer. But for this time, let us first substitute this into the equation. So again, let's write the equation. That becomes x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Okay? So, center is h k. Therefore, we could say that our h is 7 and that our k is 6 and that the radius is equal to 4 units so we're now ready to substitute this into the equation therefore it becomes x minus what is our age exactly that is 7 quantity squared plus what is our k very good that is 6 so this becomes y minus 6 quantity squared is equal to 4 squared Okay, simplifying, we'll be having x minus 7 quantity squared plus y minus 6 quantity squared is equal to what is 4 squared? Very good. That is 16. And this is now the equation of the circle, standard equation of the circle with center located at 7, 6 and with radius equal to 4 units. 
Okay, for the third example, we are given center located at negative 2, positive 8, and that the radius is equal to the square root of 5 units. So what are we going to do? So for this one, let's now say that this is age, this is k. That age is negative 2 and k is 8. But for the radius, we are given a radical. Okay, so that is square root of 5 units. So again, let's write the equation. That is x minus age quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. Substituting age k to the equation, we will be having x minus. So that is x minus negative 2 quantity squared plus y minus what is our k? That is 8. So that is y minus 8 quantity squared is equal to r squared. But our r is square root of 5. Therefore, that should be square root of 5 squared. Simplifying. Since we have here x minus minus, that minus minus becomes plus. And this becomes x plus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 8 quantity squared is equal to. What happens if we are given a square root and then we square it? Very good. We just cancel out the root sign. Okay. And in this case, cancel out square root of 5, cancel square. And what remains? Exactly, that is equal to 5. Again, if the center is located at negative 2, 8, and the radius is equal to square root of 5 units, the standard form now is x plus 2 quantity squared plus y minus 8 quantity squared is equal to 5, not 51. So that is just equal to 5. Okay, and for number 4, the center is located at 1, 3, wherein we're given a diameter, that the diameter is equal to 12 units. Again, if we are given the diameter, diameter, always remember that radius is half of the diameter. So let us try to write. Radius is diameter over 2, wherein it is equal to 12 over 2. Therefore, what is 12 over 2? Yes, that is 6 units and that is now the radius of the given so we are given center located at 1 3 and the radius is 6 units therefore this is age this is k so let us write the equation that is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared substituting h k to the equation we will be having x minus 1 quantity squared plus y minus k, which is y minus 3 quantity squared, is equal to 6 squared. Simplifying, we'll be having x minus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 3 quantity squared is equal to, what is 6 squared? Yes, that is 36. And that is now the standard equation of the given center located at 1, 3, and we are given the diameter 12 units. Again, if we are given the diameter, we just divide it by 2, and that will result to the radius. Okay? And for the last one, number 5, we are given center. Center is located at negative 7, negative 8, and the diameter is 16 units. Again, we are given the diameter. So in order for us to solve for the radius, we just divide the diameter by 2. Simplifying, this becomes, therefore, this becomes 16 over 2. And what is 16 over 2? Yes, that must be 8 units. Okay, so write down the equation. That is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. We, we now have the value for r. Okay, since this is h, this is k, let us now substitute that to the equation and this becomes x minus that becomes x minus negative 7 quantity squared plus y minus what is our k negative 8 therefore that becomes y minus minus 8 quantity squared is equal to 8 squared therefore simplifying minus minus that becomes plus 
minus minus that also becomes plus. It becomes x plus 7 quantity squared plus y plus 8 quantity squared is equal to what is 8 squared? It is equal to very good. That is 64. Therefore, if we are given the center located at negative 7, negative 8, and the diameter is 16 units, and resulting to the radius, which is 8 units. Therefore, we could say that the equation, or the standard equation of that circle, is x plus 7 quantity squared plus y plus 8 quantity squared is equal to 64. And that is how we solve for the standard equation. That is how we write for the standard equation of the circle. Given center located at hk and not anymore at the origin, and we are given also the radius and the diameter. If we are given the diameter, we just divide it by 2. And that is our radius. Once again, I am Engineer Jod Edward Hernandez saying that mathematics is always fun. Goodbye and God bless.